Okay, so I want to hit home on resolution. Okay, I really want to demonstrate it. So my next thing is going to demonstrate a plugin by Marcus called Pixel to Pixel. Uh, great, great plugin. Fantastic plugin. And it used to work really well in 2.0 and 3. And then it went away for quite some time when there was a twist transition between uh, 3, 3.1. And now it's back. Thank you, Marcus, for this great plugin. Okay, so that gets installed within the Zplugs directory. You just download it, and it is located under here. And it's a great demonstration on the difference between poly painting and texture painting. Okay, so what I'm going to do is load a tool and load demo head, click and drag out, and hit edit. Prime the surface with some white, fast shaderage 3, and material also, color, fill object. Okay, so just the same as before. Uh, also, what I'm going to do is geometry and back this all the way down to 1 and go to texture, enable UVs, and survive some AUV tiles. Okay, I, I'll live with AUV tiles in this lesson. I really don't like them. Um, another thing is, let's go all the way back up. Okay, so uh, let's divide it maybe one more time just to get a little bit smoother surface. It doesn't matter on poly paint here. And let's also give it a texture of 2048 by 2048. New. Okay, now my screen resolution right now because I'm capturing is 1024 by 1024. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is go into texture and hit, uh, keep this at one because I'm using, if I'm, if I'm staying corrected with Marcus's plugin, is AUV tiles equals one, and then if you unwrap your model using Blender or something like that, using UVW, you would change this to 0.5. Okay, so I'm going to hit pixel to pixel. So this is already at this perfect resolution right there. I'm just going to move it down and go into Projection Master and go into Colors and drop now. Okay, so I'm going to grab the running pixel logic guy. So directional brush, okay, and drag rectangle, no alpha, and let's grab the Z guy and click and drag him out. Okay, now what I'm going to do is go to Projection Master and pick up now. Okay, not too bad a resolution at all. That's really good for where I'm at. Okay, but here's what's going to really hit you home as far as poly painting goes. Okay, so what if I want to keep this? Stay on the model, right? And not have to deal with this texture all the time. I like the texture now. You know, I used to hate it, but now I'm kind of liking the texture. It's got some, sometimes it has potential problems with fall off. And uh, the evil, it doesn't have an undo thing really kind of sucks every once in a while too. So if I... If I went to undo this, I couldn't undo it. It's on a texture. I would have to redo it, the whole thing. Okay, but um, besides that fact, if I, let's say, geometry, divide this up to six, which is a lot of actual polys. Okay, I'm looking at almost four million polys here. So if this is just the head. If I had more, it, I could run into problems later. Okay, so... Let's go RBG, intensity 100, and let's go colors from texture. All of a sudden, you have that Nintendo 8-bit feeling going on. Okay, so that is a good demonstration, I feel, of the difference between texture resolution and poly paint resolution. And I hope that helps mark us out with people asking about pixel to pixel. So, all right, have a good one, and until next lesson.